Hey guys, Baker's Creek here. It's a uh, Wednesday, November 23rd. Yeah, and I'm up at the Southside Rock Shelter. I uh, took a month hiatus <laughs> for uh, all the deer hunters out here, and I'm back. Um, I don't think I'm going to dig here today. I'm going to go over the uh, the bridge over here on the other side. I'm going to go to the North Side Rock Shelter which is facing due north and I've told you guys that this is facing due south I want to show you guys pre something pretty interesting I'm going to share a theory with you guys I didn't get this on my last video when I was here okay y'all see all these rocks I'm going to walk out here y'all see a lot of these rocks that are laying right in here well, all these rocks were stacked up back here in this back hole in the back of this shelter <clears throat> I was digging in here and I seen a lot of these creek stones stacked up and I got scared. I was like, man, I, I hope this ain't no burial. And I had my wife with me and I was like, man, I don't know. But so I went ahead and started removing the rocks and it comes to find out that this was a storage pit. There was a ton of just rotten acorns and walnuts. It was just what was left. A lot of them were deteriorated into nothing, but I did find a bunch and they were all stacked in here. So it gives me the theory. That this was their winter camp because over here on the north side you get all that north wind and I know they don't want to camp over there during the winter so I'm, I'm leaning toward this being a winter camp and over there on the north side being a summer camp so without further ado I'm gonna trek over the other side of the ridge here and I'll be back alright guys I'm at the north side shelter you can see my test pit there where I dug last time I was here about a year ago and I'm facing due north there's a big creek that runs down this valley right here just like the other side and let's um, we'll see what I can find here today wish me luck guys and um, we'll do some comparisons if I do find anything from the points and the lithics on this side versus the other side see what we can come up with theory wise all right, I'll get back with you. I almost forgot. Oh, uh, Creek Dot, and if you watch this video, um, I was going to order a wiggle pick from you. And I got to talking to my neighbor about it, and he said, man, don't order one of them. He said, I can make you one. So I showed him one on your video, and, man, he made this thing. You're talking about huge. This thing is a beast. This thing weighs probably 10 pounds. I said, man, you have to be Andre the Giant to use this thing. But um, I'm going to try it out. Hopefully it's not too big. I don't break something. So, anyways, guys, I'll be back. Wish me luck. All right, guys. Um, I've been digging for about three hours. You can tell by the size of this pit. <laughs> I'm wore out. And I've been digging like a madman. This wiggle pick. This thing is. This thing is awesome. Um, to all you guys out there, y'all, y'all need to get one of these wiggle picks. I've been digging with trowels and garden spades and everything for the last two years and. <sighs> they don't get the job done. I, I use the small tools because I'm so scared I'm going to break an arrowhead or an artifact. But if you if you do it just right, you can really move some dirt with this wiggle pick while being easy. Anyways, I just flipped out a point. It's laying right there on the ground. I fell out of the wall. and uh, Let's go look at it. There it is. I fell right out of the wall here. I'm digging up toward the back wall here. I just now flipped it out here. Man, it's got some dirt on it. It's um it's an expanded stem base. Um I'm gonna have to wash it up. It it's just caked in this. You guys call it caliche or whatever, but uh, I'm going to get some water and wash that thing off and I'll get it back on here for you. Alright. Alright, guys. Um, I've been digging up here for about four hours. You can see all the dirt I've moved. Uh, that hole was two foot deep and I just kept pulling my dirt back as I kept going out on the walls. Uh, learned that little trick from all you guys in Missouri watching y'all dig. Um, all I found was. This point here, which y'all see me found, and that little tip, 
So uh, I might do a little bit of sifting and uh, down there in the sifter. And I think I'm going to go back over to the old south side rock shelter, old faithful. So uh, I'll get back with you. Hey guys, I'm back with my cleanup video from today's dig. Um, ended up digging all day and I'm one wore out puppy <laughs> using the old pick hammer. Um, there's my bag of flint from today and uh, here's some of my finds. Here is uh, two pieces of pottery that I found. This pottery is a little bit different than uh, what I find over at the uh, south side rock shelter. It's smooth and it's got some uh, lines in it there if you can see those lines. Uh, thumbnail imprint I think I'm not sure what they call that it's a little bit different than uh, what I found over at the south side uh, here's two tips that I found today here's a tip I didn't get it on film here's another one here really nice tip the flaking on it's great uh, true heart true heartbreaker right there um, whew, that would hurt that would have been a really nice point point. and uh, here's my lone find of the day um, I don't know what to call it. I'm leaning toward a late archaic, early woodland point. Um, I call it an expanded stem base when I found it. Um, it's what I'm leaning toward. I got a book called The Archaeology of Kentucky, and it talks about a lot of shelters that they've excavated. And Some of the shelters remind me of mine, and they call it a crab orchard phase with all the adena and the expanded, expanded stem base points. And it's what I'm leaning toward. Anyways, uh, feel free to comment. Tell me what you think. Like I said, I don't know what that point is. And uh, I just want to tell everybody thanks for watching and commenting. And I want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Speckers Creek signing out.